Hello, and welcome to Dallas. It's not really. I just got a cowboy hat on. So, yeah, just starting a little bit early. So the show starts in four minutes. I just put some gloves on when I'm waiting. So, how have you been? Good, I hope. Awesome. Right, so I've asked for a little bit of feedback on the sad artists. And I got loads of different things. Uh, first of all, I should be more professional, perhaps, and not um on uh, okay, and um, some other stuff. But then a lot of other people told me that um, they like the fact that I'm just approachable and normal and doing art. So um, I'm going to try and be a little bit more professional, but not make any radical changes. If you like it, tune in. If you don't, watch something else. So I'm going to be working on this, this bad boy in a moment. Shame. Right, and I'm going to try not to go on for too long today. So, um, and I'm wearing a cowboy hat because um, I met a friend in the supermarket and she said that um, she really liked Dallas. So yeah, so there we go. Tonight I'm JR. Awesome. Okay, so what do we want to do to this, do you think? Um, hmm, interesting. Well, you know what? I'm going to prop it up so you can watch me work. Hmm. There we go. Bob Ross style. Oh, it's quite good with the light as well. So, right, I probably actually don't need these gloves just yet. So I'm going to work into this with some hammerite. Uh, uh, feel free to pipe in with helpful suggestions. Yeah, my, uh, my hands are a little bit nicotine stained today because I've been smoking. No, not really. I've, um, I've been painting things brown. Right. Tin opener. Expensive tin opener. So I'm going to go for gold, I think. I think it needs more gold. Because originally it was based in gold. So now it's... Uh, a bit more gold on there. Mm -hmm. Palette knife. Now, when you're working with hammer, right, you see, it, you get all these different layers. So you have to kind of like go fishing, like an Eskimo. So comments on the hat, please. Do you like it or should I lose it? So this is a painting that I finished ages ago and I've always hated it. Some drips down might be quite cool, wouldn't it? See what happens. Can you see all right there? That's probably a bit better, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this gives me an awesome idea. Going to run different colors down. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, yeah, this is going to be so good. What colour should we go in next? Suggestions, please. Copper. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Because, of course, um, the layers separate out. So when I go over the top of it in resin, it reveals all those cool hidden layers underneath. Yeah, so if you ever want to just run some, any sort of paint down the top, um, from the top of a canvas, I always just give it one of them, slide it off. Of course, you can do it in layers as well. Oh, yeah. So I hope everybody's enjoying watching that run down. It's quite cool. So I'll just keep that in the background while working. Okay, so you remember these bunnies that I was working on last time? These are like metal ones. So, um, let's get a bit of a uh, hammerite on them. So of course the idea with these is I'll paint them from both sides and they're gonna rust because rust never sleeps. Little Neil Young joke there. So, um, how's your week been, or oh, last week, weekend? I auditioned for a rock band. Yep, yesterday. Um, and having rehearsed four or five songs, I managed to get one right. So that's a bonus. Hmm. You can see what I'm doing there, just adding some nice little marks and hammer right. I've got to build it up in the layers, and then when it starts to rust and disintegrate, it's going to be really cool. So I'm probably going to drill some little holes in and hang them underneath each other. So that's why I'm uh, keeping them consistent with the same colours. Yeah, so that was quite an experience. It's one off the bucket list. Essentially, um, I got to sing for um, about four hours, three or four hours, with a, a, a rock band. <laughs> it was ace. Um, and they didn't tell me I was god awful, which is which is nice. That's cool. That's weird how they're kind of curving around this way. I don't know why. Ah, silver. Definitely silver. What do you think, guys? Silver? Okay. Yeah, there's no silver on that so far, so it should look quite interesting. Or black. Actually, black. No silver. So silver, or as they say in Polish, srebrne. Srebrne. Because I got it from Poland. And it's lasted me a fair few years. It's ace, isn't it, that uh, a paint that's made in this color country is actually cheaper in Poland.
Oh, well, economics. Because economics. So, um, yeah, looking for feedback on the sad artist. What are you enjoying? Um, you know, because obviously I'm, I'm going to keep doing everything that I'm doing because I'm enjoying it myself. But, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to structure it more towards what people want. So if you like the cowboy hat, I'll wear it every time. If you don't, now's the time to let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cop has kind of got lost in there. So. We'll bring it back a little bit. Yeah. Well, it might ruin the picture, but it's very therapeutic to watch, isn't it? Watch it drip down. That is quite cool. It's interesting how it just curves around. I mean, that must be the shape of the canvas or something. Hmm. What if we diagonal it for a little bit? That's quite cool because if you sort of diagonal it for a while, then the runs go this way, obviously, because gravity. Um, just leave it for a few seconds and then straighten it up again. You get some quite cool, you get quite cool diagonal effect. Okay, so, well, that was the uh, that was the other piece for the metal. <sighs> so, does anybody like golf? No, nope, me neither. Straight like this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, everyone watching me after EastEnders? Good, 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 good. I like to think I'm as entertaining as uh, any Cockney. Maybe not. Oh, I'm definitely more entertaining than Daddy Dyer, though. I mean, come on. Oh, well, Daddy Dyer. I'm not really. Oh, even though I'm like four foot tall. Yeah, I'd kick his ass. Probably not. Hmm. Oh, this is quite. I mean, this is like. Um, thank you for tuning in to watch paint dry or paint run. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, what we got next? I've got this baby that started off as a test piece. Nice, isn't it? Um, but I'd made some good decisions and it's starting to actually become a painting. Might even get it framed. Framing's my new thing. I used to hate it, but, but now I frame stuff and it makes everything look good. So why wouldn't you? You can see what I'm doing there. We're just... Bring in a little copper here. I like copper as a color. Just meet a bit of that orange there. I didn't like the orange, it was too orange. A little bit of the side here. Start layering that up. Oops. Uh, yeah, we're not using gold on this one, are we? Just Mix it in some silver. Hmm. Right, got a text message. Might be relevant to the show. Ah, no, it's just my phone reminding me that I've got I've gone live. Good to know. See, I'm get a bit of um. Building some atmosphere there. It's quite cool. Aha! This big fella needs some more work going on. How's the drippy painting do? Ooh. 
It is interesting. Bit more. Hmm. Maybe some red. It's risky. It's risky, isn't it? Um, maybe. Aha. Red. Because I'm starting to build up a red thing on the side. See, I always think with painting, you should just have fun. If you're having fun, then you're doing something right. If you're not enjoying it, what's the point? There's a million other things you could do that are totally unenjoyable. Oh, this is a lot of fun. I'm just confused people. Next time, I might run some, when this is dried, I might run, run it the other way. Because that's always fun. Yeah. That's what it needed. It needed some chaos. There was no chaos, even though gravity. Maybe that's the curvature of the Earth that's caused that. Um, and for all you uh, people that flat Earthers, sorry. Okay. So that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I'll run something from this side. It's cool, look, it's blue going this way uh, next time. So that'll be right. What else will on? Ah, an old PC case. So there's my old PC case. Um, this is one of those things that no matter how much I paint it, it always looks awful. So I just keep trying new stuff. And then eventually one day I might actually come up with a combination of something that, that works or looks okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's another painting I'm working on as well, down there. Oh, I don't know. He's lightening up a bit. And blend some copper in. When I finally finish this painting, it's going to look awesome. I can just tell. Oh, that's ace. You've got like little trails of blood coming down. Ugh. Okay, so not really done much for that, have I? Some blue around this corner. Oh, a bit of red, maybe. Yeah, no, that's not too bad. And then I'll, I'll run some, uh, I'll wash over that next, sort of mute it again. And um, that will hopefully look all right. Or something, I don't know. It's one of those things I started painting it and took on a life of its own. Ah. What about this cheeky fella here? What does he need doing to him? I'm not sure. I've not really got enough space to work either. Um, hmm. Let's just see. Okay, what are your thoughts so far on this particular painting? Enjoying it? All gold. This is either going to turn out fantastic or not at all. Okay. Aha! Oh, that's what they used to be. 
So this painting I painted over an old canvas somebody gave me. It's starting to look cool though, isn't it? Okay, I'll see if I can clear enough space to work back here. Uh, okay, let me know. Do you like the cowboy hat? Or does it look ridiculous? Can you see what I'm doing there? Sort of. I'll just work on this bit so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Gold. Mm. Let me blend some. Mm. All right. Okay, sorted. And a little bit in this corner here. To get a nice texture. Maybe just a bit over this way. You know what? Sell them. Obviously, you can't really tell what it's going to look like until uh, I stick some resin on it. Right, let's see how our chaos painting is doing. Oh, fantastic, it's just getting towards the end, dripping off there. Okay, what colour should we use next? Now, there's a lot of gold on there, some, the red's doing quite nicely. The copper just seems to get lost every time. So it just separates out. You get these nice kind of like sort of webbing effect or lacing as it's called. Scales of an angel. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for those of you that have just joined us, I'm painting. So um, this was a painting that I didn't particularly care for, and uh, now I'm just letting nature take its course, or gravity in this case, because physics. Okay, how long have we? Uh, how long have we been on here? About twenty. Yeah, you see, I'm not going to do longer than half an hour because um, otherwise people don't watch it. It's like, oh, it's an hour. I don't really watch this guy talking for an hour and you know painting his stuff. But, um, yeah, can you see the painting all right, guys? Mm, hopefully. Um, just let me know if there's any any problems. Okay, what else are we working on? 
We're going to need some blue. Oh, text message. Ah. How's your car? My car is fine. Took it for a service. You know, you take it to a service. It's like, oh, everything's wrong with the car. So, mm. yeah, I wasn't going to use any blue on the side, but then I just could not resist. Mm. Oh. Hope you guys can see that. All right. It's looking pretty cool. Yeah, that's what it needed. It needs some chaos. It was too ordered. Yeah. It needed some gravity. Gravitas. Yeah, so last night I, I sang Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Treat G. And the chap said to me that, the guitarist, that considering my voice is deeper than his, I should not be singing that high pitch. It just feels natural, you know. Um, they've got a metal band. I'm more of a rock and roll kind of guy, like hard rock and roll. You know, I'm more ACDC than Slayer. So I don't know whether it's going to, but um, I can't really... I can't sing at a low volume, you know, like a low pitch. I don't know why. Just maybe, I, maybe I can. Maybe I'm just selling myself short. But still, absolutely fantastic. That's my. That was my thing this week. Just I sang with a rock band. Wow, that was that was on my bucket. That was literally on my bucket list. So yeah, that was awesome. And um, you know, it's like you go up there. And the, the guitarist is intimidatingly good. So I've got the bike. And I'm like, oh, I've never sang with a band before. And this, the guy takes out the guitar and he just sort of goes, <laughs> and just, oh, that was amazing. He was so good. Just face melting riffs. And uh, and the drummer was awesome as well. Just, and uh, there's me just like, <laughs> trying to get something over the top of the, the sound, but um, yeah, perhaps a bit too, I'm, I'm perhaps a bit too high pitch for that kind of sound. Oh, that's quite a cool pattern, isn't it? Mm. That's a beautiful thing about working with uh, solvent-based paints. They just, um, they create all kinds of weird patterns and things. And you just, you just never know what they're gonna do. That's, it's a lot of fun. The downside, of course, is that I'm always breathing the same while I'm talking to you, so. Um, oh, well. Very few people lived forever. All right, I've got these little books that I've been doing, these bookends, so essentially I just painted a bookshop. Um, I, you know what, I probably spend more time on these because <laughs> they just keep rolling over while I'm doing everything else, so. Yeah, this one's starting to look quite cool. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, that's the way I work. I keep rolling over. So I've just got a painting, working on a new painting, on my bank. Keep it, keep it moving, keep it ticking over. Okay, so. Oh, there's a bit dripping off the bottom there. I should probably scoop that up and move it on. Um, this one. It's quite an interesting mix of color. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So there comes a time to figure out when you're going to lay the canvas flat. And that time is getting, is almost upon us. I'm just going to do a couple more blue sheets. And possibly a bit more red because the red's been buried a little bit. Howdy. So, if anyone has any suggestions of prop hats they'd like me to wear uh, for the next Life Sad Artist, please feel free to put them on the chat or comments and um, let's see what we can do. This is my dad's cowboy hat. I don't think it cost him very much. It's not very well made. You probably can't tell from the camera, but um, it's pretty shit. Okay. Oh, that's looking ace. Some sort of randomness going on. So you've heard of painting my numbers. I paint by instinct. Just go for it. Um, That's about right. That's nearly there. One more coat of resin, and that's uh, ready to ready for to go. Okay, right. That is about time, I think. That is time to lay it flat. Definitely. Okay. So basically, we just oh, we just lay it down like that, you know, dry in that position, and. Uh, we can have a look at it next time, see how it's done. Awesome. Okay, so that was um, another sad artist, this time with a terrible hat. I just thought, um, do something to differentiate between the uh, the different episodes. So I did about half an hour. So um, yeah, hope that was of some sort of value and uh, aesthetic. Okay, good night folks.